What's up everyone? For today's video, we will be covering hostage achievements, six of them. This video will be longer than the usual ones because I will have to explain a bit on some of the game mechanics and skills. So to save some of your time, I will be speeding up or making cuts in the gameplay clips. Let's get started. Okay, so for this section, I won't be doing a full explanation since that is a lot of information. But I'll touch on the important parts for the strategies that we are going to use. Let's start with an easy one, Cable Ties. We start off with 2, get an extra 4 with Force Friendship and can pick up more from ammo drops. It's a 20% chance to gain a Cable Tie from an ammo drop, to a maximum of 9. Next is Shout Range. We can extend our Shout Range with the Crew Chief Perk Deck, the Confident Basic Skill or even combine both. This Shout Range extension works only for shouting at civilians and dominating enemies and does not affect Escorts or Inspire A's, also known as Get the Fuck Ups. Then we have Civilian Intimidation. When civilians are first intimidated or re-intimidated after it wears off, they will gain a random maximum value between 60 to 120 seconds. Combine that with Stockholm Syndrome Basic, which intimidates civilians fully with a loud noise. Civilians will not do anything for at least 60 seconds. And that's how people solo stealth go bang, by firing a loud weapon or revving the saw once every 60 seconds to control the civilians. This next one is important. Flea mode. When a civilian's intimidation runs out, there will be a 5 to 20 second random delay before the civilian goes into flea mode. Similarly, if a civilian hears too many loud gunshots without Stockholm Syndrome Basic, which usually happens with multiple players or sentries, or gets rescued by a cop, they enter flea mode immediately. In flea mode, they will then get up and alternate between running away and calling the cops, or just simply running if it's already loud. This is the important part. In flea mode, other than feeding them bullets, civilians can only be stopped by two things, shouting or a melee strike, which usually means the civilian is gone for good if we can't catch up with them. Even Stockholm Syndrome basic can't stop them. We can still throw a concussion grenade to delay them for a while though. And this is how people fail solo stealth on Go Bang. When the time lock is running down, civilians will keep on spawning. And within 5 seconds of them being alerted, we have to use Stockholm Syndrome basic or else they enter flea mode, run to an unreachable location and start calling the cops. But Go Bang is another video for another time. So to recap on Stockholm Syndrome basic, we will be using this to keep civilians down. Combined with firing a loud weapon or revving a loud saw, it will fully intimidate civilians for whatever their maximum amount is. The range of the weapon or saw also matters, but that is usually only an issue in a big map like Go Bang, which again, another video for another time. Next, civilians tied by players with Stockholm Syndrome Ace will never flee. Even after being rescued, they will just stand on the same spot. They can, however, after being rescued and hearing too many loud gunshots, move a short distance. So if using sentries for the achievements, try to bring only silence ones. And if a player without Stockholm Syndrome Ace retires them, the effect is lost and they will flee normally again when rescued. So combining all this information, we should arrive at the same conclusion. First, at the start of the heist, even before we do objectives, tie as many civilians possible with Stockholm Syndrome Ace so that they can never flee the map. Then once we are out of cable ties, we got the untied ones until we have more from ammo drops, since we can almost never stop them from fleeing. And once they are all tied up nicely, we don't have to worry about them running off the map and can continue on objectives. And that is enough for the mechanics, otherwise you guys will be falling asleep. So for the hostage achievements today, there are three types. Uh, well, actually two types and one other unique achievement. The first type is no escape and no death, crowd control on counterfeit and oppressor on bomb forest. For this, all we need is a player with Stockholm Syndrome Ace to tie down all the civilians, then we can ignore them for the rest of the heist, since they can never despawn. Of course, do watch out for them when firing and avoid explosives. The other type is a check for number of civilians within an area. Christmas party, hidden hostages and hey Mr. DJ. Strictly speaking, they only have to be inside the area and not tied down. But of course, it will be easier to count if they are. 
So Stockholm Syndrome, both BASIC and ACE, will help us to control them better. Then once they are tight, we will move them to the area specified by the achievement. Since they can never flee, we can ignore them for the rest of the game, even if they get rescued. Other players without Stockholm Syndrome BASIC should use silenced weapons, same for sentries, to prevent rescued civilians from moving out of the area due to loud gunshots. Now time for the specific strategies. Crowd control, counterfeit heist. Depending on RNG, there will be 8 or 9 civilians. One bikini lady either around the pool or in Wilson's living room. Then a male-female couple either in Mitchell's kitchen, at the piano, or behind the hatch at the other end of the swimming pool. Then our favourite foreign language speaking lady near Mitchell's basement. And lastly, Mitchell's group of 4 to 5 civilians around the barbecue pit. For multiplayer, have Stockholm Syndrome Ace, tie them all and then work on the objectives. Easy peasy. For solo player, we will be short of 2 to 3 cable ties. So it will be easier to tie up the spread out ones and guard those at the barbecue pit. Then once we pick up more cable ties from ammo drops, we tie up the rest and work on objectives. Oppressor, there are a total of 5 civilians, 2 by the car and 3 engineers on the slopes. For this one, I actually discourage loud weapons because once the engineers on the slopes get on the ground, we are going to have a hard time looking for them. So at the start, after tying the civilians by the car, we can wait in the middle of the road and watch out for the engineers trying to get to either end. Then chase them down, tie them, and continue the mission. In multiplayer, just have one player wait on each end and the engineers should walk straight into us. Christmas party, this is straightforward. Tie and then move 10 hostages to the Christmas tree. For solo player, first focus on getting 10 civilians tied. There should be 6 near the starting area, so tie them up. Then on the second floor, there will be at least another 9 civilians. 2 to 3 in each store and 2 in the central area. Just continuously queue off the cops to prevent them from rescuing the second floor civilians since they haven't been tied with Stockholm Syndrome Ace and pick up ammo drops until we have 4 more cable ties for a total of 10 civilians. Then move them to the Christmas tree one by one and continue with the objectives. I did this solo on normal and it took about 10 minutes to move them all. So have fun! Then we have Hey Mr. DJ from the nightclub heist. Basically it's the same as Christmas party if we are doing this in love. Solo stealth is where it's different. I assume we are playing on the no camera version or overkill and below for breakable cameras so we can control the entire place. We can either activate the escape first before going for the achievement or secure the nightclub first then do the objectives and escape later. Either way, once we have secured the nightclub, we should have everyone intimidated and on the ground. Obviously, we won't have enough cable ties for a solo player, so we can leave the CVs on the dance floor alone since they are already in the target area. Instead, we spend our cable ties on CVs outside the dance floor and then move them in. From here, we keep them intimidated until the escape arrives, or if the escape is already available, we finish the mission for the achievement. For hidden hostages, it is easier to do in loud. Of course, if stealth is preferred, I have a way to do it though it is pretty specific. First, we do it on normal since there are less guards. Then we have to follow these steps. We have to take out the camera guard since there are cameras in the main hall. We will also have to take out the guard that is patrolling the first floor since he walks through the main hall as well. At this point, we will have two pages left. So we have to choose between the second floor guard and the two guards in the inner area. Whichever way we choose to spend those two pages, we will have to move the civilians in the main hall before we get the 4 digit code. Because the metal detector guards will permanently move to the main hall. So move civilians, get 4 digit code and continue as usual. That will get us the achievement in stealth. Of course, if doing it solo, we only have 6 cable ties, so kill and back other civilians, like the bank manager. The other way is that we could also activate the escape first, then come back and move 6 civilians while delaying the alarm with pager blocking ECMs, then escape. Well, do it whichever way that is preferred. Ah, the last achievement. This is a fun one. Fun because of how it works. 
The game code has a counter that increases by 1 every time a prisoner is tied. So we can either tie 6 different prisoners to get the achievement, or just tie and retie them until the achievement unlocks. In my gameplay, I did it by retying the same 2 prisoners. <laughs> Whew. I did say this was going to be a long video. A lot of gameplays are coming up for all the achievements, so skip ahead if you only need a particular one. Hope you all learn a lot from today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, nobody stay underground. Every hostage you take slows the cops down. On the ground! And stay put! Don't move! Boris will get you! You'll never get away, never! You hear me? Get in there! Meet up with Mitchell! Now, down! Your neighborhood surely heard that gun shot! On the ground! Hey, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Down on the ground! Down, down! On the ground! They're bringing in armored units! Down! Down! Let's free Santa Claus! Go, go. Two sailors. 
Come with me. with me. There are at least... Come with me. Follow me. 
Follow me. Come on. All right, Rambler says he's rambling. Good move. Come on. Follow. Thank <laughs> you. 
We are okay, Control. Nothing to worry about here. That's it! Camera lock out. Guard, stay back. Guard. Guard on the top. Trying to control. Guard the civilians. A professional doesn't need to kill those people, hey. you know. Now you have a hard to get inside the server room. Off. It's on the second floor. Don't move! Stay down! Follow me! Come on! Come with me! Come on!
Follow! Check the terminals, gang. We're looking for a code. So, did you... It better not tell me. Less I know, you know? Come on. Let's crank up the wire. Get through there! That's the way out! 